In today's episode of Full Retard, we have more Entitled Parent Stories. First up, Entitled Mom Disagrees with My Lifestyle Choices by Imaginary Broccoli 6. Friday was a weird encounter, but at least it ended happily. This is by far the only entitled parent I have ever met that hasn't resorted to violence to get her point across. On to the story. I came home and saw a child. The child was pretty much copying the way I was walking. I thought it was hilarious. I normally don't like children, but she was adorable. I heard yelp of worry and saw the mother going to her child. I didn't think much of her as she seemed like any typical worried mother. Entitled mother. Sorry, she has the tendency to wander around. You're pretty tall for someone like you. Yeah, these hills are pretty high. I think about seven centimeters tall. Entitled mom goes white. Why is your voice so deep? Uh, because I'm actually a man in drag? Yes, I came from work in full drag. Entitled mom. That lifestyle is sinful, you know, especially in this country we are in. I don't recall home country had any problem with people in drag. Besides, I'm wearing makeup and full female business attire. I'm not harming anyone and my work has no problem with it. Entitled Mom. What sort of workplace allows freaks, let alone trans, to work in such a place? Look, lady, I don't understand why you are so upset. This is what I like to do. I only do it every Fridays. For the record, I am not trans. When with no makeup, you wouldn't expect me to be the same person. Entitled Mom. Ugh. So that means I will be seeing you more? Yeah. I live here so... Ugh. I'm disgusted. This apartment rents to creeps like you. Grabs her daughter. Find Jesus already and change your lifestyle, you creep. Entitled Mom stomped off. Phew. Glad I dodged a bullet. Thankfully, she won't be my neighbor. Edit. For the record, majority of my neighbors are foreigners, and they are more than fine with me walking around in full drag. My security and other staff members are more than okay with my lifestyle. Besides, again, I only do it on Fridays and special events such as Halloween. I will share a photo of me in drag when I have the chance, but I have a pretty busy schedule. Edit 2. Indonesia is a day forward than in the West, just in case there was confusion. Next up, am I detained? No, sir. You're being arrested by Ghost Wolf 223. Being a long cop long enough, you would meet people who ask something this dumb, but it happens extremely often. For those who don't know, I'm a cop in a Southeast Asian country, which I won't reveal as this story would be extremely obvious directed to the suspects. I've served for more than five years now, and this does happen a lot. This was on a Wednesday night. People were extremely annoyed with illegal motorcycle races with minors involved. This story is just the interaction with one of the 7070 suspects, and for those who know me, Jackson is with me on this one. The story. People got fed up with the illegal racing as it was dangerous, and those bikers are young and extreme in most cases terrorizing driver passing by. So we got annoyed and arranged an operation to arrest them all at once. Operation went off pretty successfully and detailed 108 bikers. Most are underage and don't have a license, but for first-time offenders, we have a ticket and let them go. The guy I got wasn't a first-time offender and had been arrested before for the exact same reason. The conversation ensues. Entitled biker. Sir, I do not have to give you any information unless I'm being detained. So am I being detained? No, you're right. You're not being detained. So can I Go? No. Why? I'm not being detained, so what right do you have to force me to stay here? You're not being detained. You're being arrested. On what charges? I demand my attorney. Destruction of private property, noise violation, probation violation, threatening civilians, violence on civilians, carrying a weapon without a license, driving without a license, unregistered vehicle. Shall I continue? <sighs> Don't even try to run, mate. Look how many officers are here right now. Do you think you can outrun all of us? A passing officer calls out to me and said he is a repeat offender, so just cut him. I complied, and he tries to resist a little, but I had Jackson by my side, so his struggle was short-lived. I have no idea what he's sentenced to. Not my department, and I was only on the operation to just help out. Too long, didn't read. Repeat offender, though, his rights on a traffic stop is bigger than a targeted operation. Gets surprised when he understands that he is one of the targeted people. Stay safe and strong, people. We'll get through this virus that together. Next up, Entitled Parents Get Mad at Discipline by DNJ Prod. I am the step-parent of three kids. My daughter has a different father than her brothers. It causes us a ton of issues. In order not to rock the boat, my wife has to be very political in how she speaks to them as to not cause an unintentional fight as her dad and stepmom can be unreasonable at times, although the stepmom is usually more reasonable. This is one of those stories. She was 10 or 11 at the time and it happened on a day she was staying with her dad. 
My daughter had a trip with the school where the last part of the trip was going to a local store and the school would buy the kids a certain dollar amount of items. My daughter went and got to pick whatever she wanted. She could pick one thing or a bunch of little things. She got what she wanted and they went to check out. As the teachers were walking out, they discovered my daughter had an item she had not picked out. Turns out, she had shoplifted. They made her go right back inside and turn it in and tell them what she did. This was bad for many reasons besides just the shoplifting even though the item was only a couple of dollars. It hurt the reputation of the school. It soured the administration on this particular program, and my wife worked there at the time. The next day, we receive a call from her stepmom telling us this story. My wife is commiserating about the fact that our daughter did this when her stepmom says mildly, yeah, dad is mad though. They gave her a pink slip and took away her recess. Can you believe that? Wife, non-committal, no, wow. As she is wondering in her head, is that it? Entitled stepmom suddenly protruded. I know, I can't believe they had the audacity to punish her. Who do they think they are? She's our daughter. It isn't their place to punish her. Wife, non-committal answer. Stepmom, angry. I'm going to go to the school tomorrow and talk to them about this. It's not right. If she needs punishment, we should be the ones to do it. After some more of this from her and answers from my wife that were very political so as to not cause an issue, they got off the phone. This was not a response we had expected as stepmom at all. She did end up going to the school and talked to them. Later, we talked to them as well and told them we didn't agree with their thoughts. And schools need to be able to punish students for wrongdoing. Otherwise, the school would always have issues. So after all that, you must be wondering how they punished her. Because it's their place, right? Not a single iota. We had agreed to grounding and we held our part of the bargain they did. It's enough that you grounded her. We were not happy. Thanks for listening. Remember to like this video, subscribe on YouTube, and to our podcast. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.